What's up everyone, I'm Callum on Toast, and in today's video I'm going to be showcasing some crazy battles submitted to the channel by the Black Luffy 92 who managed to hit legend rank in the Open Master League running Galarian Zapdos in a triple flying team. Unfortunately he didn't record his actual legend run but we've got some post legend battles still at a very high elo. You're not going to see a lot of unique Pokemon in the Open Master League, so it's very cool to see Galarian Zapdos performing so well. With that being said, let's get into the question of the day. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much have the remote raid changes impacted your gameplay in Pokemon Go? With 1 being not at all and 10 being that you're considering quitting the game completely. Let me know in the comment section down below, feel free to give an explanation as to why. And with that being said, let's get into the battles now. Alright, so going into the first battle, we lead into a Zacian. Not the most comfortable lead for Galarian Zapdos. They are running quick attack, so we don't even resist the fast move here. Gonna shield up, could be a play rough, and it is the play rough. I'm not sure how much damage that would do, whether it would one shot or not. To be honest, I've never seen Galarian Zapdos in the Open Master League, so I don't know if it's glassy, if it's fairly bulky, but the opponent, for some reason, swaps into Dialga, and we're able to grab the final shield already. And even though we've only got resisted charge moves and this opponent is actually running thunder for super effective damage we're still going to be able to win the zero shield match up here going for that aeroblast it does so much damage we get the dragon tail farm down lugia is an absolute monster we even make it to a sky attack although this station will comfortably live it and fully farm us down we're going to come in with a ho -Oh. The opponent throws their energy straight away. It's a close combat bait. And the opponent just concedes the match there. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what happened there. Whether the opponent was just super weak to ho -Oh in the back or what. But we take that game. And into the next battle, you can see we're now running Ancient Power. I think we do run Ancient Power for the remainder of these battles. And we're going to go for a full counter farm down after shielding once. Going to come out with a lot of energy. They come in with Lugia. We can hit for super effective damage with the Ancient Power. But that does so little damage. It's absolutely insane. Lugia is just ridiculous in this league we're gonna go for the sacred fire and sacred fire still not enough damage to take out this lugia we are gonna shield respect the aeroblast the opponent does full send it and they do get a boost as well but luckily we're able to get the incinerate farm down just as they make it to a sky attack we can now go for a sacred fire we get the attack drop and we're gonna be able to okay the opponent just conceding the match there I am a bit confused. I'm not sure if that game was completely over yet, but I mean, the opponent must have thought so, and we take that game. But into the next battle, we see the opponent say swap into a ho -Oh. We can go for the Ancient Power, do big damage, and we swap, and we potentially catch a Sacred Fire here. Nope, they go for the Brave Bird, so the opponent didn't bait with a Sacred Fire, and unfortunately, we will now have to shield here, but we can at least fully farm them down. So that's what we're gonna do. We come out with a lot of loaded energy, and the opponent is going to be coming in with a Groudon. So we go for the Sacred Fire here. Sacred Fire will be doing big damage there. The opponent tries to catch a Brave Bird, but we hold onto the energy. Very nice play. And now we can go for a second Sacred Fire, grab a shield from the opponent. And at this point, we're going to shield once. And can we get the counter farm down? Honestly, these Dragon Breaths are doing a lot of damage. So we do go for the Ancient Power. Ancient Power, not going to do a lot of damage, but we should now be able to counter farm them all the way down, come out with a Brave Bird loaded, and this will do huge damage to the Groudon. Out, or grab the final shield, of course. I forgot they had a shield, but we can come in with Lugia, and yeah, unfortunately Groudon up against a triple flying team is not going to do very well. So into the next battle, we see Zapdos into Lugia. Not a very good lead. Gonna swap into our own Lugia. And the opponent meets us with an Excadrill. And this is a matchup where if we can land that Aeroblast, we will be able to flip switch advantage. So the opponent is very likely to shield in this matchup. And the opponent goes for a second rock side. We do very easily tank two rock sides. We go for the arrow blast and the opponent does use a shield. No attack boost for us this time around. But we do get to a sky attack and this will do some nice ship damage. It will put them into range where we can just counter farm them down. And we'll only have to tank one rock side at the most. So we're going to come in with the Zapdos. They come back in with Lugia. We now swap into our Ho-Oh and... 
We've already seen this matchup once. The opponent just going to go for a sky attack though, so we do very comfortably tank that. Lugia, of course, not very attack weighted. We go for the Sacred Fire. It does some decent damage. No attack debuff, and the opponent does make it to another charge move in time, but it is just another sky attack. We can go for another Sacred Fire, potentially getting the debuff or just taking out the Lugia, and we do take out the Lugia. They come in with Landorus, going to go for an, a very aggressive mud shot farm down, but they don't get there, so they do end up throwing a rock side. We do tank that very comfortably. Oh, tank it? What am I talking about? We do shield that and get to the charge move very comfortably. And now we swap into our Zapdos. We can let any charge move go through. Just a rock side. This is the Landorus that only has rock side and earthquake. Uh, not superpower or stone edge or anything like that. So we do very comfortable up in this matchup. Go for a Brave Bird, take out the Landorus, and we can just fully counter, farm down Excadrill, and take that game. So, very nice game there. Into the next battle, we're going to be seeing Zapdos into ho -Oh. So, we do have the Ancient Power, and I think we've seen it already. Ancient Power doesn't actually one-shot a ho -Oh. It still does tank it quite comfortably, but this will do some nice damage here, and we can now swap, and we do catch a charge. We've, we get the Incinerate through as well, and it's a Sacred Fire, although the opponent does get the attack drop there, so not the most ideal situation. We can now go for the Sacred Fire, and we're going to go for it. We grab a shield, and we get our own attack drop there, so that's great. And we do, because of that attack drop, make it to another Sacred Fire, and Sacred Fire does some decent damage, but because... Our attack was debuffed as well. That doesn't quite take them out. They get a full farm down. We're going to shield once, and we should be able to counter farm them down before they get to a second Iron Head. So that's great. We come out with a decent amount of energy. They come back in with the ho -Oh. We're going to over farm and go for the Ancient Power. And Ancient Power will be grabbing the final shield from the opponent. We're going to shield as well, and they go for the Brave Bird, and they swap into Groudon, and once again, Groudon just has no play whatsoever up against this triple flying team, and we take that game. So into the next battle, we see Dialga in the lead. Very nice lead for us here. The opponent going to stay in, and they try to swap and catch a close combat. We're not running close combat, so we weren't going to throw that anyway. We go for the Brave Bird. does very nice damage. We don't have the best response to Giratina, so we're going to come in with our Ho-Oh because... Well, I mean, Lugia would take super effective damage from Shadow Sneak or Shadow Force, although Lugia probably would still win that matchup, considering we have landed that Brave Bird already. We go for a second Brave Bird with the Ho-Oh. We do just fully take out the Giratina. Going to go for another Brave Bird straight away, and this does grab a shield, and they get the Waterfall farm down. But we can come in with our Lugia, and it's looking to be pretty comfortable here. We just have to shield a potential Thunder or Blizzard, and we should be fine. Going to it is just a surf bait of course we have two shields so it does make a lot of sense to bait there gonna go full sending the aero blast it connects it one shots the kyoga and at this point this should be game over we're gonna shield up against the dialga and we should be able to fully counter falling down before they make it to another charge move and we take that game into the next battle, we see Zapdos into Zacian once again, so not the most comfortable lead. And they are running Snarl this time around though, so we do actually very comfortably tank the fast move here. So a play rough probably won't take us out, so we actually do respect the damage, and it's a wild charge. We're now going to go for an ancient power bait, and we do know that wild charge won't be enough to take us out, or at least I think it won't be. But we're going to swap and catch it onto Lugia and wild charge. Honestly, does not do too much damage up against our Lugia, but they do respond with a Dialga. We get to the Aero Blast just before they throw a charge move, and that's great. The opponent probably going to commit to farming us down with the Dragon Breaths, but no, they have to throw their energy. They are way too low here. We would actually outpace them for damage with the fast move, so they do expend their energy, and this will mean we can just farm them down. No, they do make it to a second Iron Head, so actually very good play by the opponent there. But we do let it go through and we get the farm down with counter and the opponent's going to come in with a Landorus, going to full send the Brave Bird here. And this is a bit tricky because they, of course, could be running Stone Edge and they probably are running Stone Edge. But we're going to come in with the Ho-Oh anyway and the opponent probably going to throw and then swap out and try and catch a move here. Let's see. The opponent doesn't swap out so we can go for that Brave Bird just waiting one turn to see if they swap. They don't swap and now we should be pretty good here. I think we still might live a wild charge but the opponent doesn't throw. 
Opponent, what are you doing? <laughs> we go for the Brave Bird, we take out the Zacian, and we take that game. Very strange play there from the opponent. I guess maybe they thought Wild Charge wouldn't take them out, so they were farming to the back-to-back. -back. I'm not sure, but into the next battle, we see Melmetal in the lead. Very good lead for us here. They're going to go for a superpower. What? <laughs> Okay, this is very strange. I mean, I don't really watch Master League battles very often, but these are really high elos, so I'm a bit confused about some of the plays here, but the opponent is running a Apex Shadow, uh, Shadow Lugia, sorry, and that is a very cool Pokemon. They're also a higher CP than us, so that's kind of crazy. They must have really good IVs, or maybe our Lugia isn't fully maxed or something, I don't know. I, I literally have no clue, but we're going to go for the Aeroblast here into this Melmetal and it's resisted, it does some decent damage and the opponent might not be able to farm us down, it looks like they didn't commit to the farm down, they're going to go for a Rock Slide, so the opponent was running Rock Slide, but they chose to go Superpower, I, I don't know. And they do finally go for a Rock Slide here, it's neutral damage, we swap into our Ho-Oh and the opponent comes in with Eveltal. And they just concede the match there. So I guess Ho-Oh does just win that in the two shield scenario. Uh, but into the next battle here, we see a Giratina in the lead. And this is actually very difficult. I'm surprised we haven't seen a Giratina yet. But we're going to come in with our Ho-Oh. And we're going to go for a Sacred Fire bait. But they do make it to a charge move before we get there. And Shadow Ball does some decent damage. But they're going to have to land another charge move to take us out. So we go for the Sacred Fire. Sacred Fire does go unshielded, but we do get the attack drop, so maybe we live this if they go for an Ominous Wind, and they don't, they go for the Shadow Ball, so we do correctly shield up. Gonna go for a Brave Bird here. And Brave Bird does grab a shield from the opponent, and we do debuff ourselves, so they're able to fully farm us down. It's not looking too good for us here. Giratina is very strong up against our team. They go for another Shadow Ball, and we actually tank that. Oh yeah, we did get the debuff with the attack there, so... Even then, Lugia is so, so tanky. We can live a second Shadow Ball and then fully farm them down. But no, we get extra farm onto our Zapdos. I do like that play there. Trying to get more energy from it. But we're going to go for a Brave Bird here. The opponent hasn't thrown yet, so this is a bit risky. And they do end up shielding. And now we kind of have to shield here. No, we're going to choose not to shield. It's a Stone Edge. It does one-shot us. And unfortunately, it's not looking too good for us here. So we're going to let this move go through. It is a superpower. And we do actually live that. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is that voice crack? <laughs> Come on, hold on. We've got one, la one last battle. It's nearly finished. And uh, yeah, Lugia, unfortunately, not going to be able to get the farm down there. We will just let this go through. And we do lose that game. So that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment letting me know. And as well, don't forget to respond to the question of the day if you haven't done so already. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. And with that being said, thank you all so much for watching today's video and I hope you have a great rest of your day.